Princess Anne and Sir Timothy Lawrence will be spending this Valentine's Day together. However, it will be far from the romantic getaway that many couples enjoy on a special day. This year, the royal couple will be heading to New Zealand, where they will fulfil their duties of representing the royal family. The couple will be spending a jam-packed few days in New Zealand, visiting different locations, meeting people and fulfilling their duties as members of the royal family. The statement from the New Zealand Prime Minister's office revealed that the Princess Royal and Sir Timothy Lawrence will be in the country from the 14th to the 17th of February. This means that the couple will have to spend the day of their love, Valentine's Day, abroad. Though the couple will be unable to spend this day relaxing with one another, they will at least still be spending it together. Unfortunately, due to their duties and engagements, they will not have much time to dedicate to actually celebrating the special day. This will most likely mean that the royal couple will be stuck between taking time out of their busy schedule to have a romantic dinner or carrying on with the scheduled engagements as planned. The New Zealand government released a statement from Prime Minister Chris Hipkins that read, Princess Anne is travelling to Aotearoa at the request of the NZ Army's Royal New Zealand Corps of Signals, of which she is Colonel-in-Chief, to attend its 100th anniversary celebrations at Linton Military Camp in Palmerston North. And he went on to say, It's terrific that Her Royal Highness will be able to connect with past and present members of the Corps and to acknowledge the importance of signalers within New Zealand's Defence Force operations over the last 100 years. Her Royal Highness will be accompanied by her husband, Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, retired. The Princess Royal will undertake other engagements during her visit, including attending an act of remembrance, wreath laying, at Pukiahu National War Memorial in Wellington. Her Royal Highness will also rededicate the War Memorial at Cathedral Square in Christchurch. The Princess Royal last visited New Zealand in 2010. I look forward to welcoming Princess Anne back to Aotearoa. Chris Hipkins concluded. Princess Anne, the hardest working member of the royal family, has visited New Zealand several times for official engagements and has been to other nations that require a royal presence as recently as 2023. Anne's journey to New Zealand will be her fourth travel outside of the country this year. Earlier in 2023, the princess and her husband attended the funeral of Constantine II, King of Greece, in Athens as a representative of the royal family. The previous monarch was a second cousin to King Charles and the godfather of Prince William. Hence, he was a member of the royal family. As Colonel-in-Chief of the Royal Logistics Corps, the princess had engagements in Cyprus later in January. Princess Anne also travelled to Estonia for her 13th royal engagement of the year, this time in a military tank and sporting a warm trapper cap. Although she has been extremely busy, Tim has attended the majority of her events to show his support for his overworked wife.